Curtis. Thank you. I'll tie us up while you videotape, I guess. Okie dokie. Ready for the museum? Ready. What's the name of the museum again? The Harishoff Maritime Museum. I think there's like an America's Cup Museum too. I don't know exactly what it's called, but there's a big giant sailboat out front. So, so it's kind of pretty cool. Seems like something that we should look at while we're here. on their website, in 1971, A. Sidney DeWolf Harrisoff and Rebecca Chase Harrisoff founded the Harrisoff Marine Museum to preserve and perpetuate the unique accomplishments of the Harrisoff Manufacturing Company. Today the campus encompasses a large museum facility, the old family homestead, six former company buildings, and a large portion of the company's waterfront. We only got to see a little bit of the museum before it closed, but we highly enjoyed it. Museum, and we're in the boathouse area, and we're about to board a boat called Torch. So let's check it out. Gotta take our shoes off to keep the wood really nice. Should we go down? I think we should. That's a pretty fancy wooden boat, huh? Good little head right there. Oh, that's what we're going to tour show our guests first, huh? That's the most important part. Right? <laughs> Can we fit? <laughs> I can almost stand up. Almost? No, not quite. <laughs> What's in there? Probably nothing. Ooh, it's the refrigerator. Looks like it would have been the engine room back in the day. And you can see, I wish. 
flash, but you can see all the stringers in the hall. Pretty fancy. You invented a lot of really cool stuff, huh? Cool slash useful. Yeah, he invented, we saw, well, the catamaran, that's right, right there. Giant Hobie cat, he patented it in like the 1800s, so right? So it was the most favorite boat that he's ever sailed. Nice. So this is what we were just on, which was the torch. And it's a 31 footer, but they did that by water line. Not the actual overall length. And here, our buddy John Woodruff would appreciate this because he is into making half hulls. Unfortunately, we can't go in. We can turn on the lights. And this is the model room. This is a replica of what his workshop looked like at his house where he would design and model the boats. Pretty neat stuff, if you ask me. There's some more cool boats, all made by the Harris, Harrisoff Company. And it's pronounced Harrisoff, not Harrisoff. And then our boat is basically straight over there right now, out in the harbor. And say hi to Kate over here again. Hi. Hi. I like to read all the little facts. Tell us what it says. It says, the California was the first able yacht racing fiberglass class. Her performance Superiorities were immediately evident in Southern California, such that boats were sold all over the USA. One of the Californities sailed by T. Vincent Learson, IBM president, won a Bermuda race to solidify the reputation of these boats as seaworthy winners. Pretty cool. Yeah. And then uh, check out this one. We've actually seen this one race in the Chicago Mackinac race. It's a new configuration, which is called Merlin, and for the racing sailors, they would really know this boat, um, but uh, it was one of the first kind of 70-foot uh, transpack sleds, as they called it, and one of the first uh, fiberglass boats like that. And then Kate mentioned the IBM president. And this one, sailing people will know as well. This one is Larry Ellison of Oracle's boat. Pretty cool models. If you're into boat models, this is a place to go. If you're into sailboats, it's pretty much a place to go. You know America's Cup. This is a place to go. Wooden boats, just like amazing stuff. It's funny, I read that uh, like yacht club owners would come and be like, hey, we want to create a one design class to Nathaniel. And he would be like, okay, you know, what do you want? And then he would like design a boat just for them. <laughs> so he was the original inventor of one design racing also, mm -hmm. right? That would really test a sailor's ability versus another's. Rather than like perf ratings, right? Yeah. Or PHRF. All right, thank you. All right. So it's closing and. Goodbye. Goodbye. See you guys later. So what's really cool is that 
all of this that you see out here and over here and all these old buildings were all part of the original Harrisoft Manufacturing Company's complex. And all these piers, they used to just build all these boats, including military boats, sailboats. Go stand by the keel so you can kind of get an idea of like the enormity of this thing. I can't even get it all on the screen. I'm gonna fall over into the road. Pretty cool stuff.